mysterious yellow stone. One confused redditor posted about this unusual rock she had found. It looks serious yellow stone. One confused redditor posted about this unusual rock she had found. It looks incredibly unusual with black spiral forms embedded into the rock itself. Number 20. A wedding ring lost for 52 years. Marriage is a declaration of love that lasts for eternity, transcending possessions. At least that's what Eddie Stoko hoped when he lost his wedding ring on a cricket field in Durham, UK in 1966. Eddie had only been married for six months at the time and his wife wasn't bowled over by the news. 52 years later, just like in The Lord of the Rings, another cricketer there went to a riverbank to retrieve a ball and saw the one ring in all of its glory. It was returned to its owners, now in their 70s. Number 19. Civil War Bullets Historians at the Gettysburg Park, site of the famous address by Abraham Lincoln, uncover more and more living history every day. The field of a Civil War battle in 1863 continued to give up its secrets to lucky scientists as recently as 2011. In so-called witness trees are the remains of bullets that missed their mark, lodged into the trunks and branches. Over 12,000 people fought there, carrying over 60 rounds each, which shows just how many there are to still be found. Number 18. The Boot from Wild Wild is the real-life story of Cheryl Strait, a damaged woman who decided to hike the Appalachian Trail alone. She battles unwanted attention, her own demons, and presumably a lot of blisters. Along the way, while dealing with a particularly nasty toenail, she drops her boot and it tumbles away into the forest, never to be seen again. That is, until one hiker and his dad were on the same path. They found the shoe from the movie, remarkable given the time that had passed as well as the fact the trail is over 2,000 miles long. Maybe they were able to sniff it out? Number 17. An Amazing Rock This impressive thing is a sample of fluorite, a halide mineral that crystallizes in a cubic formation. In layman's terms, that means that mines are really pretty and full of the glittering gems. Despite appearances, they are non-precious, but this one, as posted on Reddit, is still worth at least $2,000. Number 16. Animation Cell from Bambi This tale comes from Edmonton in Canada. A homeless man digging through dumpsters went to an antique store to sell the things he found. Among them was a painting which the owner gave him $20 for. The owner recognized it as Bambi from the Disney movie and was even more surprised to find that the piece came with a certificate, certifying it as a genuine animation cell from 1937. Animation cells are the transparent sheets that are drawn onto for hand-drawn animations. He sold it online for thousands of dollars and split the money with the finder. Since then, he set up a GoFundMe and managed to reunite the man with his kids. It's a heartwarming tale of luck and friendship, truly worthy of the Disney name. Number 15. Two-Headed Snake Sometimes nature gives you diamonds, and sometimes it sends you something terrifying. This woman in Virginia was lucky enough to come across a snake in her garden, but not just any old snake, an extremely rare two-headed copperhead snake. Although venomous, they prefer to avoid humans. Polycephaly, the condition that leads to animals having more than one head, is extremely rare and occurs about 1 in 10,000 births in captivity. This one was captured and put in a sanctuary before it sadly died, as unfortunately, they usually don't live very long. Talk about getting a head start. Number 14. Seven Leaf Clover Reddit user Jay Baker found this incredible seven leaf clover and just had to spread the word online. Clovers usually have three leaves, and finding a four leaf clover is indeed rare. There are about 5,000 three leaf clovers for every four leaf clover. The probability of finding clovers with even more leaves gets much smaller though. The odds skyrocket to a million to one if you're looking to find a five leaf clover on your first try. So what are the odds of finding this seven leaf clover? It's something like one in 250 million. That means less than 30 people in the entire world will find one of these naturally. It's an incredible find. Number 13. War Diary On the whole, working in recycling must be a difficult job, what with all the filtering of junk you have to do. But for one recycler in 2016, it gave them the opportunity to find this incredible World War II era diary filled from 1941. 
Although most people would look at the cover and immediately trash it, this person took the time to actually go through it. They found it came with the original Charles Letts & Co. pencil and it was even stamped. Its pages were filled with written accounts of the person's days and offered a real step back into time. It's a real museum piece. Number 12. GoPro Crosses Ocean GoPros are helium balloons for adults. Colorful and fun, and then you let go of them and they're lost forever. That's what happened when Serena Subakahara was swimming with hers in Japan and dropped it. After two years and 150 miles, some Taiwanese schoolchildren found the camera covered in barnacles. They uploaded some of the photos from it and the post went viral, shared over 10,000 times in 24 hours, allowing the camera and owner to be reunited. Number 11 a bargain storage unit. What's the best you can hope for when you buy an old storage unit at auction? Some antique furniture, a bicycle maybe? How about more money than you can spend? When a man bought a disused storage unit for $500, he thought it was a bargain. Then he opened a safe that had been left there and found over seven million in cash just sitting there. Trouble was, the original owners wanted it back. They ended up lawyering up and negotiating return of the safe and unit for about half of the total money. Number 10. Lost Dog. This next one's so lucky it'll bring a tear to your eye. In Belize, Georgia, this man is roaming the streets until he approaches a sleeping dog. It turns out this is his dog, Georgie, and it had been lost for over three years. And boy, is he happy to see him. It turns out that his friends had seen his pooch and called him and he'd hurried over. Heartwarming. Before I reveal the next example, you should subscribe if you're enjoying the video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number 9. Hidden Underground Room One imager user going by the name I've Been to Yonge was doing some basement renovation work when they knocked down a wall that revealed a secret area. Although stories passed through the neighborhood that the home had been extensively used as part of an underground railroad, this was the first time they started to believe the rumors. Crawling through a chiseled out hole in the wall they made, they found a room confirming the speculation. It turned out that under their feet was a station on the famous underground railway that spirited American slaves away to freedom. The house, built 25 miles from the Canadian border, served as a final resting stop and sanctuary before the final leg of a journey. Treasures found included this bay and a trap door to throw off suspicion. Regardless of how spooky it looks, with a little work, that space could become an amazing man cave with an epic story behind it. Number 8. A Strange Book Normally, you browse family bookshelves for embarrassing photo albums, but this person found something truly bizarre in their aunt's house, a book written in an incomprehensible language. It was later found out that this is a Masonic book written in code, requiring a cipher to determine the meaning so the secrecy could be preserved. The person who took the photo said she couldn't understand it. Well, duh, that's kind of the point. Number 7. Mysterious Yellow Stone One confused Redditor posted about this unusual rock she had found. It looks incredibly unusual, with black spiral forms embedded into the rock itself. Users online identified it as Bumblebee Jasper, in reference to it being an imitation of the lovable insect's coloring. Found in volcanic sediments in Java, its unusual form comes about from loosely consolidated deposits of condensed volcanic vapor, which is often consolidated with epoxy. It's not incredibly rare, but a large piece like this is still worth over $100. Number 6. Rabbits if your garden is overgrown and the lawn needs to be cut, make sure to inspect the area for little depressions before you start mowing, especially if rabbits live in your area. That's what one dad did and uncovered this entire litter of cute bunnies. Apparently, they are cottontails, the only rabbit species that does not burrow, and are born blind. Other than cottontails, all rabbits nest underground. It's lucky they were found before the mower powered up, that's for sure. Number 5. Castaway Dog Animal lover David was on an Amazon cruise when his boat stopped at an island. It was entirely deserted except for one thing, a black dog. The dog, Negrita, had been abandoned by her previous owner and David decided to do the honorable thing and rescue her. He brought her aboard the ship and nursed her back to health. But that's not where the story ends because eventually he was able to organize adopting her and had her brought to the UK. Most people buy a souvenir snow globe, but this guy got a new pet. Number 4. An Anglo-Saxon Coin Hoard Everybody with a metal detector wants gold. Oh sure, they'll say it's fun finding a lost car key or a bottle cap from 1991, but truthfully, 
They all want the treasure. So it was a pleasant surprise to amateur metal detectorist Chris Cutler from Essex when he found a gold hoard from the Anglo-Saxon era. The coins, buried hundreds of years ago, took four days of scouring a 1,600 square meter field to find and are thought to be worth $13,000. He's not alone. In 2016, over 1,100 treasures were found in the UK, and the number has been growing almost every year for the past few decades. This is why the Treasure Act came into effect in 1996, which dictates that all finds have to be reported and valued by an independent authority. They can then be purchased by a museum at that price, and only if they are refused can the treasure hunters keep the remains for themselves. Number 3. A Stolen Safe Metal detecting is a thing of the past. All the cool kids are magnet fishing now, where you attach a strong magnet to a line and throw it in the water. Adam Hastings became the poster child for beginner's luck, when on his first magnet fishing trip, he dredged up a safe from a lake in Cheltenham, UK. Inside were possessions including watches, war medals, and jewelry, some of which had water damage. It turned out to be a stolen safe, the robbers having thrown it in there to retrieve it later. They never were able to though, and Adam managed to find evidence they had even tried to magnet fish it out themselves. Number 2. Duck's Foot Gold Nugget In Western Australia, there still exists a large community of prospectors hunting for treasure. One was out in the so-called gold fields of Western Australia with a metal detector when he got really lucky. Lying about a meter under clay, taking two hours to dig out was a gold nugget, but not just any, THE nugget. The whole thing weighs three kilograms, of which two kilograms is gold. It's thought to be worth about 110,000 Australian dollars. It's been nicknamed the duck's foot due to its shape, which proves two things. They're good at finding gold, but bad at naming things. Number one, salvage tank. Tank salvaging is exactly one of those things you'd expect someone's dad to be into. When tank collector Nick Mead bought an Iraqi tank that had been used in the first Gulf War, he got more than he bargained for. As well as an armored killing machine that saw action in Kuwait, he and his team found some gold bullion inside it. The gold, which is thought to have been looted during the Iraq War, is thought to be worth 2.4 million, outstriping the 50,000 he had spent on the tank. Being a responsible citizen, Nick didn't immediately fake his own death, but rather reported it to the authorities. The police were sent over to collect the gold bars and left Meade with only a receipt. The British police are currently trying to track down the rightful owners of the gold and get it back to them, but in the event that they are not able to find the rightful owners, it's unknown who. Serenade each other 